Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. Have you ever tried printing out something and then wanted to put a part in without defacing the part that you just printed? Well, today we're going to talk about that. In my last couple videos, I've been talking about how I want to get better camera gear and better stuff so that I can give better shots, right? I just said better three times in a row, but we're gonna roll with it. So I found one uh, by DIY Perks. His channel is amazing. The way he develops stuff is great and I'm not gonna steal it and act like I designed this. All I did was I saw his channel and I saw that there's 3D printed parts for it and I wanted to make one as well. And somebody designed 3D printed rollers so I didn't have to purchase them off eBay. But one of the rollers that I found has two separate ridges, one at the bottom and one on the top. Because the first set I printed out was too small and then when I printed out the next set, it had the two ridges. So the first time I tried to push it in, it broke that ridge. So I wanted to figure out a way that I could actually put the bearing inside of the roller without hurting the part by squeezing it in with a pair of pliers. After researching online, there's a bunch of different methods and a bunch of different ways that you can do it using Simplify 3D. You, know, you add in a script and you use regular expressions, or you can actually go in and manually change the G-code. But a simple way I found with my Prusa machines and I believe you can use it for other Marlin based firmwares, is the, the 3D color print app that comes with the drivers that you get when you install your Prusa firmware. Basically you go in, you find the layer that you're gonna need to change or place the part in, right? So this is actually designed to change out filament color. So you can do multiple colors with one machine, but you can also use it to put a pause successfully in the middle of the print and you don't have to worry about retraction or priming the nozzle. The G-code is put in there to help with filament change. When you discover what layer that you need to actually put the part into, you add that as the pause and it will wait for you until you come back and it will keep beeping at you continuously. It's actually pretty annoying so don't do it overnight. And then I was able to place the bearings in. You just need to make sure that the top of the bearing does not overlap the, the top of the print because then the nozzle would hit into it and, and potentially really damage your printer. So you just need to make sure that it's flush. And it gave me the ability to print out really cool bearings for this camera slider. Oh, shoot. Let's see. It rolls really good. Now this isn't the most, like this isn't like one of those sliders that you get off Amazon. So it's not perfectly level and I haven't really 100% figured out how to use it, but everyone that makes a slider or gets a slider has cool cinematic footage that goes along that goes along with it, right? So I've added a clip of me actually using this. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick tip on how you can place parts into printed parts, a quick and easy way. So you don't have to have technical knowledge or even understand G-code and get in there. It helps if you do, because if there's something that goes wrong, you can go in and fix it. And if you want to know a more in-depth uh, tutorial on how to do this, I've been researching it and there are other ways. You can create scripts and simplify 3D. You can actually go in and manually change it. Um, a couple other things too, there's, there's other tools out there that let you alter it within Octoprint. Anyways, if you wanna know the different ways that you can do it, you let me know and I'll make a video for you guys. The giveaway ends in a couple days, so if you haven't signed up, make sure that you sign up. I'll, I'll link that video in the card. And there's gonna be a lot more videos coming out. I have the TiVo Tactical X Carriage uh, assembly. I, the webcam, I'm gonna set up a webcam for the, the Prusa on the Octoprint server. Uh, which I'm super excited about. Whatever whatever else you guys want. I've actually printed out a couple of cool things, some uh, cool prints that I thought that would just be fun to share with you guys if you just wanna see some, some cool prints that I've discovered. So that's it, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Um, please like and subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment and tell me what you think. I really appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you around.